Okay, I'm getting ready to run this uh, sample of oats and peas uh, through this superior fractionating aspirator. This is a six inch lab testing unit and it will show us what our larger units will do for this customer. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, we're going to go ahead and run this today, but it would help to pre-screen this and get a lot of these larger sticks and uh, pods and stuff out. That would make this aspirator perform a whole lot better. But we're going to run this anyway and we'll be able to give him an idea of what the machine will do for him. Okay, so I have the sample in the fractionating aspirator. We're going to go ahead and start the aspirator. I've got the feed roller turned off right now, so I will go ahead and increase it slowly. Since this has a lot of heavy oat contamination, we're going to run, I'll run it slow, and we're going to have to monitor our fractions there because they will fill up and we will have to stop and clean them out. Okay, so I went ahead and stopped there. I will now show you the different fractions. One thing I would like to say with the larger fractionating aspirator, shutting down to clean the fractions out would not be necessary because it is equipped with uh, belch gates and as they fill up they drop out on their own automatically. Okay, so here are the different fractions. This is the heaviest fraction, what fell out the bottom. You can see it's mostly uh, just the peas, which is what we want. You will find, I don't know if you can see that little guy right there, there is a few oats that made it through, but considering the contamination of what we started with, I think this is a really great result. There's another one right there. And then this here is your next heaviest fraction. There's a, there's a few uh, splits of the peas in there. Uh, not really much to worry about. And these two are your lightest fractions. These would be your lightest uh, oats. And uh, there's no peas that I can see in this fraction either. Okay, so I emptied our light fraction containers. I'll go ahead and start so we can finish the sample. So this is our pea sample. See, there's a little stick in there. If, like I said earlier, if you were to have a screener and you'd screen that out ahead of time, it would make this machine perform even better. But I went ahead and dumped all of the light fractions together and then just kept this heaviest fraction. And I just wanted to show you how much oak contamination was in with the peas and how well the machine performed, even, even under that large amount of contamination.